And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kasari, and today we are looking at the Warrior. All right, the Warrior. So um, I picked up the Warrior pretty recently. I haven't finished the upgrade tree yet, so this is definitely a first impressions video. As you can see, I have the applique pack on, and I have the 30 millimeter Rarden. Um, yeah, the L21A2 versus the L21A1. Uh, you want the L21A2. Um, let me put it this way. The L21A1, even with the upgraded ammunition, yeah. Um, your max pen is about 210 versus 220, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it does make a significant difference. So what do I think of this vehicle? Well, <clears throat> I like it. Um, I have to caution that, though, because it isn't my favorite AFV. It's fun. I like driving it because I like guns that go punk, 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 punk. But, and I kind of like the idea of using, you know, a 30 millimeter gun on an AFE. But if you're used to something like the BMD-4 or even more so the Murder Machine or M2 Bradley. So the downside to, unlike both of these tanks, or both these AFVs that have missiles and a gun. As you can see here, you have your choice of the 9M, 11, 7M1, or your 30 millimeter gun. The, which, and you can see here, the damage in the pen is actually lower on the 30 millimeter mounted by the BMD. But the downside is that the Warrior has a better gun but it doesn't have any missiles. So you don't have the same alpha capability that you say have in the Bradley, where you fling your tow missiles, switch to your gun, dump all your ammo, and you probably blow something up. With this vehicle, you have a five or six round magazine, a six round mag for your Varden gun, and that's it. So you can deal, you know, 600... 900, about 900 and so points of damage. So, on the other hand, it's a fun vehicle. And actually, it has decent armor protection. Um, sort of. So, with the upgrade I have on it now, which is this applique pack, I have 220 millimeters of front and side hull armor. Um, I have a .9 armor divisor, so... Never mind. I was going to try to open it up in another window, my calculator. But, yeah, so let's say it's probably about... Eh, about 200 millimeters of steel equivalent. Which isn't bad. I mean, 200 millimeters against, say... The Ramka? It's going to stop a few shells off the Ramka. Um, it probably won't stop its own rounds, but it will stop the Ramka. And I've actually bounced some shells off of, uh, from tanks at high angles. Now, there's one thing to caution here, which is one of the downsides of this vehicle. This thing right here. See that? That's the engine. That's a critical hit location. Right on the front of the Warrior. Ding, right here. Don't get hit there. Uh, typically, I've actually found that it's not too shabby to, if I angle myself and present my applique armor. Uh, mostly by applique armor, or if I somehow shield this area right here. So let's take this into a match. Let's see what the options we have today are. Uh, Ricochet. It's like the worst map possible to take this thing into. Okay, let's look at a map I did earlier. Uh, da, 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 da. Was this it in Banshee? Yeah, Oh, no, okay. This Banshee. There we go. Here you can see me in the Warrior. So let's play this match, and let's take a look. Because this was actually a pretty cool match. Um, I don't think I came in the top tier, but I think I came in decently well in this match. So let's take a look. So I'm I'm low tier. We have two tier tens, a Sphinx and a XM one A three Abrams. We have a Ramka ninety nine, and then we have a T ninety. 
Sorry, I have a cold still, so I'm kind of getting over that. By the way, see how fast it's loaded up with my solid state drive? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look, see how this goes. And I liked the way I played. The reason I'm showing you this is I liked the way I played this map. It wasn't necessarily my best, my highest score. Holy Toledo. There we go. All right, so you can see I pull up here. I'm thinking, yeah, I have a good Overwatch location. Okay, Overwatch. You know, I can probably shoot down on some things over here. And then I realize, I'm like, wait a second. I can't really see what's going on. And that guy just gets decimated. I reload. And I'm starting to realize, I'm like, I think I'm in the wrong location here. Like, I, I don't think this is as good of an idea as I thought it would be. Yeah, because I can't really shoot at those guys because they're shielded by the buildings. Now, when this area would open up, I'd have great lines of fire down there. But I decide, you know what, I'm going to be more aggressive. Identify. I just played a match earlier where I had been very non-aggressive in this vehicle. Um, and actually, my team got killed for it. So you can see I open up on this BMP3. And I'm going to roll down a little bit so he can't shoot me. Aha! I'm like, come on, get out of, get out from behind cover. That's really what you saw there was how the warrior works. You fire, you fire, you fire, you scoot away, and then you reload. Your reload time's pretty quick, so it doesn't take you that long. Now, if you notice, I'm actually pausing before I start shooting. That's because the Rarden gun's downside is it really isn't that accurate. Um, it can be a little hard to pick out specific weak spots in the with the Rarden gun. All right, so now I'm going to swing south because I'm thinking, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down to about the G line. Then I'm going to curve in. I spot an M8 Thunderbolt, and I decide, okay, I'm going to get you. Now, the reason I've decided that is because he's stuck. I had a, a requirement, a mission requirement to destroy a certain number of enemies. And I take a hit. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Not dealing with that, not dealing with that. I'm just going to take this pump spot. And I'm considering what I'm going to do next. And I'm like, okay. I waste a shot. You can see if I can hit the lower half of his armor there, I do pretty well. Now, I'm going to back away from him, because the last thing I want is to get lit up. If you notice in this match, I don't have the applique on the side of my tank. See how inaccurate this gun can be? Now, I'm saying that, but at the same time, you know, it, I am at maximum zoom while I'm shooting, so... And I'm starting to think about what I want to do next, and I'm like, okay. I've already healed up my guy, used my medkit. So, all right, let's 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 do this. Let's be sneaky. How about that? Sneaky is good. So I'm going to hook down on the G-line. I'm going to come straight through here. And I just spot a lot of vehicles. Ooh, hey, look, a weasel. Someone else killed him before I could. Now I'm sneaking in here, and I'm like, where are they? I need to find them. I take a hit from that Thunderbolt. I just dump my rounds as quickly as I can and then back away. I'm going to back up again. Now I should have really reloaded there. There we go. I just fired off that round to reload. I'm just going to sneak forward a bit. And again, I want to get out of the way before that Abrams engages me. I take a hit from that Abrams, almost took me out. I actually use my repair kit now. 
and I murder that thunderbolt that wandered into my path. So what I'm doing is I'm scooting back into cover, I'm reloading, and then I'm scooting back out again to engage. And I see the challenger, and I'm like, oh, okay, I need to find a weak spot on you somewhere. Back in the turret. He fires and misses. And now I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I actually get the kill on him. Or no, I didn't get the kill on him. I'm sorry. So I see the Sabrams coming around. I'm like, okay. I dump my rounds into him and I pull back before he can shoot at me. This is really what you have to do in the in the warrior. You have to shoot and pull, shoot and pull. I bounce that shot, but you notice I actually hesitate before firing again. And I get the kill. I hesitate before firing again because I literally sit there going, uh, did that just actually happen? And as you can see, I'm actually doing pretty well on the damage counter. I mean, the Sphinx is way up ahead of me. But I'm ahead of the T90, and I'm pretty much tied with the Ramka. So, yep. Oops. Yep. It doesn't quite turn like you think it will. Now, I ignore the shooting over there because I want the secondary right here. Like, we have to take the secondary. I get it. And then immediately afterwards, the match ends. You can see GG and great timing from me. We got that secondary within seconds before the match ended. So that's kind of the warrior. You know, you have to... You have to be sneaky. You know, you have to, have to be a little cheeky in how you play. Um, get around beside them, get around behind them. Uh, you don't really have the accuracy... <clears throat> excuse me. You don't really have the accuracy to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone... But if you can, if you, or to pick out weak spots at any range, but if you can get around them or behind them somewhere, then you can do a lot of damage. Um, in terms of upgrades, you have a firepower and two universals and a mobility. So what I'd probably recommend, uh, with this vehicle at least, would be, what I'm going to be putting on there is probably, Probably chrome barrel lining, um, experimental propellant, and the magnetic actuator. Those are probably the three I'm going to put on there um, in these three slots. Because I want to increase my damage. That's, that's really what I want to boost up right now. Rate of fire doesn't really matter because pretty much you're firing about as fast as you can. Um, your reload time is about 5.4 seconds. 200 rounds per minute is plenty. You know, that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, what I do for mobility is... Uh, probably whatever enhances acceleration the most. Yeah, probably the upgraded transmission uh, is what I... Either upgraded transmission or the air induction pre-cleaner. Uh, I install one of those two in the mobility slot. Oh, Banshee again. Uh... Let's wait for a minute, because I don't want to show you the same mission twice in the same vehicle. So, yeah, I like it. Um, I like it a lot, actually. Now, in terms of upgrades, probably the next thing I'm going to go for is either the Warrior, the Rap 2 Cage, or I might go with the Laser Rangefinder that improves my accuracy by 10%, um, or Smoke Grenades. I mean, that's, that's Smoke Grenades are, are always good to have. I never remember to use them, but they're always good to have. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yes, yeah, so the reason I don't have any upgrades on it is because right now I'm a little bit cash-strapped. Is the one issue I'm having right now. You can see I have like 126,000 credits up there. Uh, mostly because I haven't been playing any of my premium tanks. Um, whoops. I should probably go out and play the AMX and RCR because I know that I have a... Uh, a PV challenge for tank destroyers dominating out light tanks. But if I do that, I might as well run my LAV 600 because I have that close to finishing the upgrade process. Um, yeah, I just need to get the fire suppression and the HEP rounds. So, oops, not what I wanted to do. Back to garage, please. Yeah, so let's go back into the warrior. We reset yet? Yes, we have. What are we doing today? Ooh, spearhead. That's a good mission. 
fairly wide open and right on in. Hey, look at that. Uh, my queue time has actually been pretty good lately, so I think there are a lot more players. It's uh, a Thursday, by the way, at like 9 a.m., so I'm a bit surprised that the, the place, this is as, we're as busy as we are right now. Uh, so we have two Warriors, a Weasel, a Centaur 120, and a T-72A. Well then. I apologize for the sniffles. I just, I have a cold. I've had a cold for the past couple days. It's really driving me nuts, but okay. Oh, this is the wrong map. Oops. See, I thought this was the bigger map. Also, this is the downside of having uh, one of the new um, PCIe solid state drives, is that you end up waiting for everyone else to load in. Yeah. Hopefully that weasel loads in. Oh, so what am I going to do? Um, I don't know. This map doesn't really have much varied terrain, so I'm probably just going to go in there and knife fight it out. Um, probably stick somewhere around the three column. Probably around golf three or maybe echo three. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to echo two as my primary. The PLM have taken control of a gas refinery and are diverting the fuel to their base of operations. They say they take from the rich and give to the poor. But so far, all they've done is Move quickly and recapture the refinery. Identify. Yep, I'm going to have to get in there now. I just don't have the field of view to really do much else, so I'm going to have to actually go in there. Help out this other warrior. That's not a truck, that's a tank, guys. Frack, that's a Terminator. Thank you, whoever finally shot him. Reload with Sabo. And we have to cross over, I think. Which I hate doing. Okay, yep, let's get out of here. Oh, really? Frack. Oh, good. All right, looks like I'm secondary capturing. Okay, come on, really? Ow. I got lucky there that he was shooting uh, HE. Missed his weak spot. Come on. Remember, weak spots. You want to shoot the weak spots. If you can freaking find them. There we go. Remember, your job is basically to pick them off on the sides. They're trying to surround you. Don't lose the refinery. Bounced it. Knocked him out. Good. Good job. Good 
job. Armored reinforcements are on the way, and infantry is en route to secure the facility's interior. Can't see the stingray yet. Sniped. Now, a lot of my buddies here are taking a lot of the heat off of me personally. Which is actually letting me be a bit more aggressive than I normally would be. Okay, reload. Now, the nice thing about this small map is that my view range is basically the whole map. That's GG. Of course, I can't see how I did yet, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, that that was sort of a bit more knife fighty in the warrior that I'm I really like to get into. Um, I like to hang back a bit and sort of snipe and spot a little, uh, but that was really an MBT map. So I mean, we were at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, at least the AFVs in there were. Uh, I think the Centauro did pretty well for himself though. I think. Yeah, I didn't blue star that one. Well, I didn't do too badly. Uh, came in behind the other warrior, but I could have placed myself better and done some better. Could have done better in that match. I just didn't really. All right, so this has been the warrior. A bit of a first impressions video. I like it. We'll see how it goes going forward. Um, I'm surprised actually how bouncy it is. Uh, it could really bounce some shots. Uh, we took a shot right from a VFM and just bounced it right off our armor. So, And that we were engaging one of those Ramkas and it really wasn't doing much to us. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mr. Casarian. And as always, everyone, good hunting.